That's what a boss does. He freaking mows his lawn in the middle of the night with zombies all over the place. See? There you go. Alright, now let's get out of here before, uh, <laughs> before we have to deal with the attention we've attracted. What's up, my hungry friends? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my 7 Days to Die single player starvation mod Let's Play. Uh, last video, we had our Horde Night, we met Michonne, and uh, it was a pretty cool video. You should definitely go check it out. And I also did some stuff uh, in between videos. On oh, look at that bike. That's not good. I also did. <laughs> that was pretty weird. I also did some stuff in between videos uh, on stream, and I'm going to catch you guys up to that, and uh, it was pretty cool. So if you missed that video, you should definitely go check it out, guys. It was pretty freaking sweet. Uh, today, we are going to be making a cooking station. I'm going to show off to you the, what the mechanic has been up to. The mechanic is a freaking absolute boss, and I'm also going to talk about a new horde base I'm going to be making. Where? Spider somewhere. Where is he? I definitely heard a spider, but I don't see them, so I'm not going to really worry about them. Anyway, if you end up enjoying the video, please remember to give it a like. Also, if you do here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Alright, so here we go. One thing I want to show you right off the bat is, you notice those red trees? You know when you cut down the red trees, you get that red wood, and it kind of is pointless? Well, check it out. Um, you can now go into the red wood and turn it into regular wood. So that's really nice. So I've been doing some farming um, I, I've been doing some farming with wood. I've been farming some boulders during the stream. Um, I did a little bit of looting during the stream. I marked a couple airdrops. We should probably go get those airdrops soon. Uh, actually, there's one more airdrop I marked like a week ago that I completely forgot about. That's It's actually in the other town. Um, yeah, and I have another airdrop I marked yesterday during the stream. Uh, I Don't worry, I did not loot them. All right, so here we are back home. Uh, I want to show you a couple things. Number one, I could not make gas because in order to make gas, you need to set up a moonshine thing, a moonshine station, okay? And in order to set up a moonshine station, you need a a couple things. And we're gonna actually, I'm gonna go show those things to you right now. Those are actually the most important thing I want to show to you at the moment. So let's get up there and show you the moonshine. It's pretty, it's pretty epic. Hey, what's up, buddy? I've been slaughtering the chickens and the, and the rabbits, and I have a ton of meat. Let me uh, come up here and show you. Before we do anything, I'm going to actually show you what I looted yesterday uh, yesterday on stream. Uh, oh, I was supposed to use the lawnmower as well. Nah, eh, we'll do that another time. Anyway, this is the stuff I looted. I didn't loot a lot, but I did loot some of it. I got this 600 crossbow right here and a 546 crossbow. Uh... And I think they're in the same chest. I think it was a, I think it was a gun chest. Uh, so I got a, a SWAT helmet, and I got another crossbow. And this is everything I looted yesterday on stream. All right. Uh, this is all the meat I got. We got meat for days. You know, you know how it goes. Uh, we got some cornbread in here. Let's go ahead and well, let's take some of this cornbread with us to feed our guys. Uh, sorry, our people, our lady and guys. I also put down the. Uh, ammo workbench in between videos. So there you go. The ammo workbench is down and you guys told me that the ammo workbench actually produces two bullets per combine Which makes it I think maybe more efficient than regular bullets. Um, so uh, One of the sheep got out so I killed it I also put a pig in there and I'm gonna show you some stuff with the animals as well. All right, buddy uh, also someone told me that if you have a wrench or some kind of uh, a nail gun would work you can actually see the hit points of your workstation people so this guy is level 15 he is right now making bullet casing packs uh he can make bullet tip packs he can make small generators he can make diesel generators check this out he can actually make a magnum but this is a pointless this is pointless because he can make the magnum but you still have to give him the frame the cylinder the parts and the grip if i if i had all those why wouldn't i just put them together myself not only that but what if i give him purple parts and he only puts together a level 100 magnum how does that work? I don't know. I'm not going to find out. Anyway, so I leveled him on springs and shotgun receivers. Actually, I think the thing I leveled them the most on was shotgun receivers. Yeah, see all the shotgun receivers? I leveled them on pistol parts, shotgun receivers. And check this out. I've got a bunch of bullet casings. This may not look like a lot, but don't forget, these are in packs. And I've been waiting for you guys to open these up. So let's go to recipes, bullet casings. And there we go. We're going to get 1,600 bullet casings out of that. All right. We're going to do the same thing with the bullet tips. And there you go. Uh, he's freaking awesome. Basically, with the bullet casings, he just takes a little bit of clay and a little bit of brass, and he just makes bullet casings. The same thing with the tips. 
Uh, he does it with the lead and the lumps of clay. He is a wonderful, wonderful human being. Thank you very much. You're awesome. Anyway, let's come on up here and take a look at the gas room, as I like to call it. All right, so check it out. The first thing you need is a bio digester thingy, and what you need, what you need to put in there is. Oh, we're gonna take this and this and this. And what you put in the bio bio digester thing is you put these empty gas cylinders, and then you put in turds and plant fibers, and it's gonna fill these up. Okay. When once those are filled up, you're gonna have a gas tank. Okay. You put them in the gas tank once they're filled up. Okay. Now, once you have the gas tank, you got to put the gas tank down. Now, I'm not going to do it for you guys because I did it. This took me a couple hours on stream yesterday. It was a nightmare, okay, to figure this out. Anyway, when you put down the gas tank, when you see a ghost image of it, you're going to see a little green box, okay? A little green box. It's only going to be on one side of the gas tank. And the little green box, When I before I place the item, before I put down the item, there was a little green box. And when I put down the item, the little green box was right here. And that is where you have to hook in the pipes, okay? And what you're looking for is gas... Uh, you can't do gas pipes. But what you're looking for is gas line pipes, okay? And you have to place it. It won't let you place it anywhere else. So if you have a gas line pipe here... I think I have some spare ones in here. If you have a gas line pipe that you're trying to put on this thing, it'll be red because you can't connect it to it. But if you put it in the right spot, it'll be green. See, I could probably connect another one right here. Uh, the little green spot. But you'll see it in the ghost image before you put down the item. And that's where you have to connect the pipes to. Okay? Alright. So, with that being said, um, you're going to link the pipes. Yeah, you can link the pipes right over here. And again, this is the moonshine uh, station. Let me see how this is doing. Alright, so you're doing good. This is the moonshine station. And when you put down the moonshine station, it's going to be the same thing. It's going to show you a little green box. And that is where you have to hook the pipes up to. Okay, you can't put this down without it. You can't put this down unless the pipes are in the right spot as well. Now this thing right here is the valve. This will turn, uh, this will like turn on and off the gas coming through the coming through the pipes, and it's pretty cool. So everything else should be pretty self-explanatory, and that's how you make gas. Once you've done that, you put the gas in here. Uh, you put the here. You know what? Let's just do it. Let's just do it. We're gonna take three of these and put them in there. Now this should not be able to. Yeah, this isn't on. It's not operational. Because this valve is not turned on. All right? And as long as that valve is not turned on, then this should not lose any of the gas from the cylinders. So we're going to turn this on. And once we've done that, is it on? Yes. Once we've done that, we can come in here and gas cans. We've got 29. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna use a couple of them for now. And boom, that's how you get gas. And I'm gonna have all the gas I'm ever gonna need. And now we're gonna turn this off, and now I shouldn't be able to get in here. There, it's turned off, and there you go. And it didn't even use it. Oh, it used all three. Hmm. I'm not sure how it decides what it uses, what it uses, and what it doesn't. Um, I'm still not 100% clear on that, but that's the way it works. Okay, so with that being said, I'm just gonna drop all this stuff in here for now, and we're gonna take this bucket. You need a wooden bucket, and we're gonna go get some poop from the animals. Now, if you hit the animals too much, they can be killed. So do this at your own risk. Okay. I don't think I've ever gotten anything from a sheep. I don't think sheep give you anything. Yep. Okay. So I just killed my sheep. Oopsie. Uh, so yeah, I don't think you can get anything from the sheep. I think if you use scissors though, you might be able to get some stuff from them. Someone was saying something about scissors and stream last night. I'm not really sure. But what we're going to do is we're going to use this on the cow. And with the cow, you get milk. I was told to, to hit the cow until you get about five things of milk. And then give it some time for it to rest. Anyway, uh, where you get the most poop from is from the pig. So hit him until you get about five things of poop. I really wish there was an easier way to tell what their hit points and stuff was. Alright guys, here we go. We got a uh, survivor and she just walked off. And she's probably going to walk right into the spikes. If she gets right up here right away, I, uh, everything will be fine. If she doesn't, then I will have to pause the video. Let's see. Alright, come on in here. You know what? That might actually be close enough. Okay. That's actually about as good as it would have been. Actually, it could have been a little bit better. Alright, so let's give her a refrigerator to work with. That'll work. And we're gonna, she's going to need some food to survive on. So we'll take some of this guy's food. And put him right in here. There we go. The survivors will eat. 
cornbread and boiled egg. So let's see what let's see what she can make. Nothing. Okay, so I'm guessing I have to teach her stuff. Let's uh let's actually go into the journal and see what this says. All right, um, oh, cornbread, boiled eggs. Well, there 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 you go, cornbread and boiled eggs. All right, but I think we have to teach her to make that. All right, so. All right, uh, those actually need to be in my hand to do that. So you put the item in your hand, and then teach hand item. Uh, sorry, mate, I broke your cornbread. Ah, damn it. She she does. They don't always do it perfectly the first time. Sometimes it takes a few times. So teach hand item. Oh, broke it again, and she still man. It's is she supposed to be like messing them up that badly? Maybe boiled eggs is too hard. Oh, there we go. So now she can make cornbread. All right. So why don't you make some cornbread? So she's going to need one cornmeal and one bottled water. Sounds good to me. All right, so we're just going to throw this stuff in here. We'll have her make cornbread for now. Maybe if she levels up, she'll learn how to make the boiled eggs. Maybe they're like a more challenging thing. Um, I don't know how boiled eggs could be a challenging thing. But, you know, in the interest of game balance, I guess I can understand that. Um, so she's going to need cornmeal and water. So let's get her some water. Uh, do we have any water in here? Yeah, we do. We got some jars there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up on our roof. We're going to fill these jars and then we're going to boil them up. And then we're going to get her some water and eggs. All right, so now she should be going good. We just got to get that water and then the cornmeal and we have the farm going. I think I'm going to talk about the, the defense I'm going to build now. As a matter of fact, let's just go to our base. I'm not scared of the night anymore. Let's just go to our base. And I'm going to start talking about the way we're going to defend. And, um... There we go. I'm going to talk about the way we're going to defend. We're going to build like um, an actual... My basic idea was to just put iron bars above my head and just build a basic defense. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these poles and I'm going to put them sideways like we did on our multiplayer server uh, a few seasons ago. Uh, Game Edge came up with the idea. It's a really cool idea and I'm going to use it for this world. I'm also going to maybe uh, mix it up a little bit. Uh, so it should be pretty cool. Oh, got a zombie over there. But it should be pretty cool. There we go. We got some headlights now. You guys should be able to see. If this is too dark, if you guys don't like me driving around at night, just let me know and I'll stop. Um, I just like, I hate like wasting the whole night, you know? Uh, so yeah, there's that. Alright, so we're going to do this. And we're going to fight this one. Okay, you're dead. Oh boy. Whoop, I just hit my mini bike like a jackass. Okay, well this is not what I signed up for. Okay. You should get bonus experience for being for like killing zombies at night. Nope, 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 nope. Not oh, really. Oh. Oh, right in the chest. Excuse me. Oh, there goes your head. Oh my god, I just keep getting more. Oh, he went down. We shoot out his leg. Nope. Alright, this isn't gonna work. Uh, let's get inside. Fight him at the door. Alright, guys. Come at me. Come at me. Hello? There you are. Here I am. Next! Nobody? Okay, good. Alright, let's loot these up. Okay, guys, so I'm pretty much about set up what I want to do here, and I will show you what we're going to be doing. First of all, I'm going to be making some cobblestones. We're going to need a lot of cobblestone rocks for this. It's going to be cobblestone first, and then I'll eventually upgrade it to, uh, I don't think I can make, okay, so I could make concrete poles, or I can make cobblestone poles and upgrade them to reinforce concrete. So there's no way to do this with, with rebar. Basically is what I'm trying to say. You don't want to go with concrete poles because that's a whole 10 concrete and it's really expensive. Cobblestone poles are the way to go and then you upgrade them from cobblestone to uh, reinforced concrete. And I've got a bunch made already. So what I'm going to do is this is going to be... This right here, all the corners are going to be just regular, you know, reinforced concrete corners. And then in between, what I'm going to do is on the outside, I'm going to go like this. And then like this. I don't know how high I'm going to go. But the zombies won't be able to get through here. Now crawlers might be able to get through there. And I might have to deal with crawlers. But um, I, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Go ahead and upgrade this. 
Do I have any uh, concrete on me? It doesn't seem like I do. Good. So I won't accidentally upgrade that. And that's the idea. So what you'll be doing is you'll be fighting from inside. And again, like we'll have spikes on the outside. Do I have any spikes on me? I do not. But we'll have spikes on the outside. And they'll be bouncing up and down on the spikes, doing their thing. And we'll just be meleeing or shooting through here. And every once in a while, a crawler's going to get through. It's honestly not a big deal. I don't know how high I'm going to make these. Maybe one more level would probably be high enough. But uh, I think that's going to work. I think that's going to work. I think it's going to look cool. So let's go ahead and break through here. Not break through, but upgrade. So we're going to need a lot of cobblestone. We're going to need a lot of grass. That's why, I wanted, that's why I wanted the lawnmower. I wanted to cut some grass tonight. But I don't know. Maybe not. There we go. Cool. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, let's get home and let's get some more materials and get out here and do this right. Uh, I want to get another pickaxe because I think this pickaxe is getting close to half durability. And I also need a lot more cobblestone and uh, we're also going to go ham with the lawnmower. As a matter of fact, let's just do that right now because why not? Lawnmower! Middle of the night! Don't give a F! You! You! That's what a boss does. He freaking mows his lawn in the middle of the night with zombies all over the place. Okay, there you go. Alright, now let's get out of here before uh, <laughs> before we have to deal with the attention we've attracted. Alright guys, just sitting here chilling. I'm making a bunch of cobblestone for our future base. And I am also waiting for... I'm, I'm basically just making everything grilled meat. Um, I, w I was making boiled meat for myself and grilled meat for the uh, survivors, but whatever. Just make all grilled meat. That way, what I eat and what they eat is interchangeable. Alright, so let's go ahead and dump all this in there. And I went ahead and brought all of the eggs, the water. Uh, basically, everything that I think the cook is going to need is with the cook. And let's see how she's doing. By the way, I might have wasted a lot of water. Um, oh, look at this. Look at this. I don't see any boss zombies, so I'm just going to ignore this. Yeah, I don't see any boss zombies. So to hell with it. Alright, here she is. And, whoa, where'd you come from? Is this thing still on? Oh, crap. I totally forgot to turn that off. Hey, we got a little boy. No, don't jump over. Oh, jackass. I gotta enclose that properly, by the way. Alright, well, let's see how she's doing. Uh, she should be making a bunch of uh, cornbread, and it looks like she is. She's still level 1, so we will leave her alone. Uh, she is fine. We're gonna have to come down here and deal with this now. Alright, kill all these jokers. Okay, very good. Let's take a look at their loot really quickly. What you got? Nothing? I'll take that. What's going on over here? Hello. Hello, governor. Oh, there goes your head. Man, oof. Rough day. Rough day at the office. Alright. Whatever. I'm gonna leave all that stuff alone. And let's come on over here. And they broke out my gosh darn ladder, which I'm not very happy about. And she should still be doing fine. There she goes. She's making a bunch of stuff. Very good, very good. We could kind of spread the love around. Very nice. Sounds like we've got a screamer. Uh, not a screamer, but a um, spider zombie. That's not good. Okay, let's take care of this. This uh, base is by no means screamer proof. Or, God! I call them screamers. I mean, um, because they do scream, but they're not screamers. Uh, spider zombies. And they used to be screamers. These guys right here back in the day used to be the ones that called in the horde before the uh, fun pimps made the actual screamer like a zombie. So, Alright. Looking good. Looking good. Alright. Let's come on up here. You looking good. You're fine. Um, do we have any clay on us? We have a little bit of clay. Throw some in there. You know what? You need to make bullet tip packs. There you go. Okay, uh, let's get out there. Uh, what am I doing next? What do I want to do? Cooking station, show off the new guy, 
Um, horde base setup. Yeah, I, I guess we're just gonna do the horde base for the rest of the video. So let's uh, let's grab everything we got. It looks like we got everything we're gonna need for the horde base. I got this. We're gonna need some concrete, so let's go grab some concrete. I'm gonna have to do some farming at some point. Like, uh, I just don't have a lot of time to farm. I'm gonna have to make some time. All right, so let's grab this stuff. And that looks pretty good. Let's get going. Let's get back over to the base. Let's uh, start getting ready for the next horde night. When is the next horde night? 42? Is there 42? Yeah, it's 42. Oh boy, it's right around the corner. Man, I should have played on 120 minute days. That was a mistake. I don't really think that... I don't like playing on a... Uh, no, it's not over there. It's in front of my base. I don't like playing on 120 minute days in vanilla, but man, it would have been a really good idea to play on 120 minute days in this mod, for sure. I'm glad it's raining. Actually, if it's raining so I don't get the flu, go ahead and put the coat on. And uh, I'm glad it's raining because my... The water catch at the farm is is uh, completely dry, so we need to get that we need to get that going. If there's one thing I hate, it's a dry rain storage. All right, look at this Joker. Excuse me. Sorry. Sorry. All right. Stay up there. All right, let's get back to work. So now we can put this in the corner. So what I wanted to do was put this in the corner. That's the idea. I don't want any steel on me, so this should be fine. And upgrade. First thing you want to really upgrade here is the uh, corner blocks, to be perfectly honest. And um, I'm not going to use cobblestone in the corner. Well, I probably could use cobblestone in the corners, but I'm not going to. Um, I'm going to actually use corner corner blocks just because. I don't know why. Just because. I forgot to make the other pick, by the way. Man, how close am I to... Uh, 80 in mining tool, uh, not mining, yeah, mining tools. Damn, getting close. How many points do I have? Only 74. I'm very careful with my points, in case you guys couldn't tell. Right. So that's good. That is very nice. And uh, I think three high is all we're probably going to need. Let's go ahead and see if we got any spikes down here. I'd like to put some spikes down, just so you could see, the, you know, the full scope of what this base is going to look like. So I'm going to come on up here. I have a chest on the roof, and the spikes might be in here. Yes, they are. All right. Uh, let's do that. Let's grab these. Anything else up here that I want to take? Uh, well, yeah. I mean, the wire defense, sure. Take the fence. Okay. Let's take out that freaking zombie. Where is he? Oh, there. That's not you. The one I was talking about was the one that was crawling around. I thought I saw one crawling around. Eh, maybe I was mistaken. Who cares? Get out of here! I'm trying to work here, you jerk. No respect, I'm telling you. Alright, so what we'll have here is we'll have spikes. Now, you could dig down here to put spikes. I don't see the... You know, I don't really think it really matters, to be honest. They, they jump on the spikes. It's not... A lot of people seem to think that the, um... That the zombies just sit in front of the spikes and, and attack them. And, um... I've never seen that in my games. So... I'm going to just leave them, leave them where they are. I think that's pretty good. All right. Plus, you could repair them easier when they're up here. I'm not saying you can't repair them when they're down there, but easier when they're up here. Oh, come on. Let me work. Jeez, I missed the crap out of him. Okay, did I get a level? Yes, I did. Level 97. My goodness. I should start doing my quests. I mean, yeah, I, no, I really should start doing my quests. I mean, I am doing a lot of my quests. You know, like, every time I kill a zombie with pretty much any weapon I have, I'm working on my quests. So. Alright. So let's put this out like this. And let's upgrade all these. I don't have any steel on me, so it would be okay to just hold down the button. There we go. Alright. Let's do this. Okay. Can't do any more with that. Alright. So, and then what we'll do is... Again, I'm not... I, I mentioned this on my... I don't remember what video I mentioned it on, but I think I mentioned it on my single player world. I'm not really sure. But I'm done with regular barbed wire. I mean, regular barbed wire is okay, but... It does get broken up too easily, so... I'm just going to use the standing barbed wire. 
from now on. And then what we'll do is behind that will be more sets of spikes and more barbed wire. We'll just keep going back and going back until, you know, until I run out of materials or, you know, get, I don't know, bored. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. All right. So let's, um, let's continue breaking this out. Um, I think we're going to call this one here, guys. That's going to be it for this episode. Uh, what are we going to do next time? That is a good question. Honestly, I might just start working on the horde base. Maybe start working on some traps. I do have a lot of traps I can mess with. So, um, how expensive is the bear trap? Because I was thinking maybe the bear trap might be cool to use on zombies. Maybe. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, we'll probably uh, continue working on the horde base next video. So, all right, guys. That's going to be it for this video. I'll see you next time. Until then, take it easy.